Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Monday, April 10th meeting of the Conway Select Board. And at 6.15, it will be the joint meeting of the Select Board and Finance Committee. Tonight, we do have a hard stop at 7 o'clock. We must adjourn at 7 o'clock, regardless of where we are in our processes. Um, so the, uh, call the meeting to order. And the first item on the agenda is voting to approve the minutes of April 3rd. Everybody get a look at them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Good to me. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. In your absence, you still did. Very fine job. No, no. Uh, <laughs> Not on my game. Yeah, uh, it's good enough. Good enough, as they say. So I'll move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It is unanimous. Next is voting is um, three warrants, an accounts payable warrant in the amount of 75000 payroll warrant in the amount of 133000 I'm sorry, it's $75,101.95. Payroll warrant in the amount of $133,115.89. And the payroll deduction warrant in the amount of $32,548.53. And I did go through them. Um, yes. The, the, uh, the uh, one of those is comprised principally of tax payments to the federal government. Um, one of those had a lot to do with the grammar schools uh, the sp spending for the new dishwasher, uh, which was approved last year's town meeting, Article Three, and uh, um, and assorted other expenses. But I, I don't have any questions about them. If everybody is okay with them, I'll yeah. move to approve Second. those three warrants in those amounts. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Meetings attended by select board members, and this has been a busy week for some of us. Um, uh, Chris? Only one I can remember. <laughs> it is, uh, I had another meeting concerning the, the Thursday Transfer State Station um, Forum with uh, Jan and Veronique. I believe that's it. Erica? Not. Okay, so one of, one of, the, one of the meetings, so for me, one of the meetings was with the DCR, Sean Odinson. Oh, the wood bank. The wood about the, uh, the possibility of the town establishing a uh, a, a wood bank. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it the week before? No, it was 10 a.m. on Thursday. It's on my calendar, but I wasn't able to yeah. go because. Oh. It seems so long ago. Yeah, it's um, Thursday. But uh, and he came to so on the 30th. Yeah, that's what so. It was. Um, well, we didn't mention it before then. So. Oh. But uh, that was the one I was at too, right? Yes, you were there. Yes. Oh, it was two weeks ago. Oh, well, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't go. 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 We also had um, a meeting with town council. And, the, the, and there is something that I do need to share with you both about this. So in another we've been doing it wrong forever moment um, <laughs> um uh, the way that the, the there I, and i didn't know this there had been a state supreme court or it's not, we don't call it a supreme court the supreme judicial court or whatever it's called uh, the um but basically anytime the town a town department head um wishes to uh, impose discipline or to, uh, issue a written warning. The department head can't be the one that does that. That under the under the case law of this of our state, if a department head does that, all that that legally co counts in in a court is that it's a discussion. The only body that can issue a, any type of employee discipline warning that sort of thing is the appointing body, that is the select board. So, for instance, if and I'm just picking a department at random, if the highway department wishes to issue, if the supervisor, if the department head wishes to issue a written warning to an employee of the highway department, he comes. He now has to come before the select board. We have to have a hearing, an executive session, unless the person involved wishes to have it be an open meeting, um, and then only the select board 
can issue a warning that is legally valid and will hold up in court in the case of uh, any court challenge. So that is a huge cultural shift for us. We have never had to do that. And to me, that is a completely unpleasant uh, bit of knowledge. Yes. Um, <laughs> and, um, and so, but that is, that is the takeaway. And so um, one or more departments may be approaching us in the near future wishing to schedule an executive session to have an employee discipline issue. And that, again, is not the reason I wanted to be on the select board. The, uh, so council has basically said that the select board is responsible for any disciplinary yes. personnel issues yes. related to town employment. Yeah. Okay. Hiring, firing, and discipline. It was the discipline we didn't know about. So yeah. And it has not been the select board's custom to do that for as long as I've been a part of it and before that. So I don't know when or if we ever did that that way, but that's New reality, chapter 437. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I can see how that makes sense. I mean, is that what, like, how do other select boards <laughs> handle that? And, I mean, it can't she, be the first that's had to address this issue. Yeah, so she's, she was telling us about some towns that, as a matter of fact, one was in the paper recently, where she's had to deal with this. And yeah, unfortunately, that's the way it goes, is it has to be done through the select board. So. Who can call for such a meeting? Does it have to be the supervisor? Or can the supervisor go to one of their employees? See, or can it be the employee? Exactly. Right. Make yeah. like and I don't the employee. Oh, so ultimately, the one who calls the meeting is the select board. The one who decides what is on the agenda is the select board chair. But um, the, uh, but. Um, I would hope the approach for all that would probably be through me to send it on to you. Yes, that is that is the desired approach for sure. <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> uh, but, um, yeah. Yeah, for both the employee and the supervisor, you would, I mean, I don't think you would want any of this to be. Obviously, we'd have to be executive session, but I mean. But the person that is being discussed is legally allowed to say no, hold it in open session. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. so there's that. So there's, there's that. I figured that's yeah, a bit of unwelcome news, I'm afraid. Sorry. Um, uh, public comments? Anybody? Unfinished business. New business. First item. We're going to announce the sale price for uh, the address is now zero off Ashfield Road. But it's a very specific piece of property. It is a very specific piece of property that is, I don't even know how you describe that. It's landlocked, your, for sure. It's, it's yes. a landlocked property um, that was the subject of two attempts. But So it is. Um, it, it came into the town's possession, possession by virtue of over $20,000 in back taxes. In back taxes. <laughs> Um, and the town tried, we did two auctions, Jan, me, we, Jan, Warner, um, and Veroni, uh, did two auctions. There were no bids at the tax, at, at that tax price. So, which, um, which is required in, uh, in order for the town to sell it to the highest bidder at this point. Um, but we are setting a price. It's in, it's not necessarily the highest bidder. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Veronica. Well, no. So you, you all met and you discussed and you decided what the price was that you would set as the, your minimum for a minimum bid. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah so correct. going forward, there's still a couple of details we have to work out with the town council, but Jan does have the deed now in possession. So, so the, the agenda says to announce the sales price. It really, what we really mean is the minimum bid required. Yes, correct. Sorry. No. Um, so, the the suggestion here is that the amount of legal fees plus the amount of what, um, was, what was the three thousand one? Oh boy, my mind's blanking. What the three thousand was? 
because it couldn't have been the back taxes. Goodness. Mm. Yep, maybe Chris has it. <laughs> Probably do. <laughs> To Jane, just ask me that question quick. Uh, I, just, I can try. We'll get back to that in the, um, in the meantime. Uh, we'll just go ahead to the next item, which is appointing Amanda Herman as our, the town's emergency management director, replacing me, Philip Cantor, who was previously the interim emergency management director upon the uh, the retirement of the previous and d just you know th this board did vote for me to have that position what I didn't re what we didn't realize at the time is that we didn't need to do that vote it had no legal effect because there's a law that says that when there is no emergency management director the emergency management director shall be the chief executive of the town um, and that that's me so um, I was it anyway but anyway, the, uh, Amanda is works in emergency management for the town of Northfield and their dive team, whatever, whatever. And she's she has all the training. She's super knowledgeable. And um, this, uh, you know, just candidly, I will say she is a she, she is a significant upgrade in this job, performing job ability than me. And um, like I took classes, I did what I could during this past year, uh, and. Um, but still, my uh, you know, to be really honest, my, my I prayed for good weather. <laughs> like that, that was my principal emergency management strategy. Um, so the uh, so the proposal here is to appoint Amanda as the emergency management director, and me as her assistant emergency management director. The assistant, of course, uh, does not have a stipend whatsoever. So um, the emergency management director has a stipend of, I believe, two thousand. Or 1900 or something like that. So that's um, that is the. Is that a motion? Uh, seen as it, it, I, I probably shouldn't be the one making the motion. No. I, I actually should probably. I, I should actually you should probably refuse. Yourself. Yeah. Well, but, not from Amanda. Right. But as a sister. So let's we can break right. this up into two okay. things. So the so first one is to appoint Amanda. I make a motion to appoint Amanda Herman um, as our emergency management director. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. Congratulations, Amanda. <laughs> May you never regret this choice. She um, The next, so oh. then the next. Uh, era I make a motion to appoint Phil Cantor as assistant emergency management director in the event that Amanda Herman can also fulfill her duties. I will second that motion. And all in favor. Aye. Aye. Yeah. Two to nothing. <laughs> Okay. Um, yes, in. yes. Uh, next item is discussing the transfer station public forum presentation and new sticker procedure. So there was a little bit of miscommunication um, between. Well, I guess I'll just I'll just claim 100% credit for that. So, uh, so I didn't understand. This was initially set for discussion and vote. Um, but I, when I read this, I thought that included the price of the sticker. And to me, I wanted to have a further discussion about that, but it didn't. That wasn't Veronique's intent. intent. <laughs> Veronique's intent was that this not be about the price, but just about the other bits about where it's sold and how we're selling it and how it's handled this year. Are you talking so, about the topic of like the forum on Thursday? That's what you're. Uh, no, uh, well, this sticker. is just the last part of that is what I'm talking okay. about. The sticker part and. Um, it was on the options that I had written up last week. Right, so I yeah. could have written it better on the warrant myself to say, no, this is about, because you discussed it last week. Um, and then but, I added in a fourth option for mail-in. Right. But when I was there this morning, I was like, please take the word vote out of there because I want to, we haven't discussed whatever. And so they took the word vote out, so now we can't vote with the stickers. Cause, well, well it's just, it just says discuss. This is only concerning the decal. Permit. But the one hanging up that's right. Yeah, the legal one actually. The legal one says vote, so you can. Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay, we can vote. 
Yeah, well, that. also this so, is effective for stickers like starting July 1, so. Um, yes, unless the board decides to move it to September start, which we can discuss too, but um, yes, this was just, this is really about the process of how you obtain the sticker, mm -hmm. nothing else. Just okay. trying to get it out of the hands um, of the transfer station attendants, because they have more than enough to do as it is, mm -hmm. and move it over to the town offices. And that's what our accountants recommended as well, like to not have any cash. The not, order, yes, order, not only this, right, but they're right. recommending that all cash yeah, so disappear. No cash that's a bigger conversation right. about how we do that. <laughs> so. Yeah, but it's relevant, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then my, you know, th so oh. what, it, what was brought forward to me about the price of it is it w was from two separate residents in the, over the past week, um, both of whom are in Social Security and have a very, very limited income, and who felt that for them, and each of whom was, you know, a one bag of trash per month person that um, and is, each of them are it's fair to characterize them as elderly um, um, each of the, the they both said that thirty dollars was it was a, a big big bump up from ten for, and for them it was a hardship and could we please just make it 20 so I'm passing that request along um, although you know the, so, so that's that's I, yeah, I had that same thought um, that to move it up, the, like that's like tripling the price, like doubling is more acceptable than tripling. How about some some townships, towns, excuse me, um, have senior pricing? Well, you uh, brought that up. My idea was, can it be free for seniors, and that would be a huge dent. Like since we're we're we that would be. That would be a, a, a yeah, so we're, many we're seniors. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Um, but maybe a senior or, pricing might be, you know, and then where does it start? Maybe we can start with 20. Yeah, I, but I that's not going to last if we want to be closer to neutral. Mm -hmm. I think it's really hard to go from 10 to 30 because mm -hmm. that's like tripling the price. I think it's easier to go from 10 to 20 because it's just doubling, or even easier to go from 10 to 24 because now you're just oh, two dollars a month paying two dollars a month for. I mean, but that's still. I mean, it's you know, it's more than double. But I just, yeah, I'm not comfortable with going to 30 dollars a month. I think that's like too big of a question. Personally, is the Thursday presentation to present your final solution to the town, or is it to? engage the town in possible solutions. Engagement. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't seem a little early to be discussing like the, the pricing? Well, no, not no, really because we've not been the discussing. issues around the pricing, yeah. but the specific but price. The, the calendar says that we have to do this because the stickers have to, you have to start to make them available soon. Yeah. Um, okay. And that, that's really the okay. first part in this whole process that mm -hmm. we need to have nailed down because um, when, when you say you need a new sticker by June 1st, that means they right. have to be for sale in May right. and tick-tock, tick-tock. So, um, so um, and, and, and it's Thursday. And it, like, it, yeah, um, well, you, you know, the board will have plenty of time after the feedback from the Thursday session to have more discussion about it yeah. and then make a vote. So, yeah. Did you? Sorry, I just noticed we had, you have a quorum of finance, right? Yes. Do you All right. Well, we're done. Roy is here. I yeah. make a motion to call the finance committee committee jointly with the select board. Um. So sorry. Did you want to vote on the on the transfer station? So we can table it if you want. But no, let's vote on it. Okay. Let's vote on it. What is it? The on? sticker price. No, not the what, sticker the, price. The, just the procedure. The procedure. The procedure, the procedure, procedure. for obtaining a, a permit sticker. Real quick, is there any way? Is there any way we can add Venmo as an No, option? we've looked into other, other methods of payment, but I don't think we can do that. I can talk with Jam. I can only say that because it's really easy aside from yes. somebody putting in HTTPS back, you know. Oh, well, that's you, it's on the website. You just click it. Oh, that's right, because we're it's not on doing the website. transfer station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Got mm -hmm. it. That's right. So we're vo are we voting? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and so effectively, is, like, once we take this vote, we will not be accepting cash out of transportation for stickers. 
I would say going forward for the new stickers, I would maybe amend it that way only because there's still several stickers every week. Right. And we're not, you know. And I, they're still taking cash for. They're still taking cash for that. So, and we're going to need a fair bit of time to educate the public that they can't get them up there anymore. Mm -hmm. So I would say when the new permit stickers are due, and that is up for discussion too. So. Okay. So moved. <laughs> Voting? Yes, we're voting. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'll make a motion to allow the purchase of Conway Transfer Station permit stickers to be one of four options, either in the town office, online, at the town office drop box. I'm sorry, the town hall drop box, or mail in. No, actually, no, it's town, town office. Town, town, town office, office drop box. Nothing at town hall. Only Got town it. offices. Yep. Got it. Second. All in favor. Oh, very good. Aye. 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 And Jan, bless her, got back to me with the text that said it's 3100 assessed value. <laughs> so that was where. Oh, very good. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, very yeah. quick detour back to where we left off with the, um, the sales price for zero off Asheville Road. The, the recommendation here is that the minimum bid price be set at $5,000, which is that $3,100, or was it 31 did you just say? It, yes, $3,100 for assessed value so and then 3, 100, lawyer fees. 3100 for assessed value plus the attorney's fees that we had to mm -hmm. expend to get to this point equals $5,000. So that's, that is the, the recommendation here for the announced minimum bid. And if that is okay with everybody. Okay. Our town treasurer is okay with that. Yes. Right? yes. That. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. yes. Okay. Correct. Second. Um, yeah. So I did. Well, that, yeah, I did make a motion, right? Yes. yes. So all in favor? Aye. Aye. That's unanimous. Okay. On to the draft form. Hmm? On to the draft form. Oh, yeah. So we have. Um, my thinking on this, Alan, is we have, we have thirty minutes because we have a hard stop yeah, at yeah, seven yeah. o'clock. Yeah. So that probably even tackling Article Two isn't even <laughs> really. Uh, in its entirety, we probably might not. Even. But there's one thing that I'd like to. This is, my, I'd like because if there is to be changes in, um, so so what I'd like to do is discuss the capital request items first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, because I if would there, too, actually, yep. if there are to be any changes in that, it would be good to let that capital committee meet and revote on those changes. Mm -hmm. um, and so I would like to give that committee the most time possible. Yeah. And, um, so Just have one question. Uh -huh. So why is it that the school was the rationale for not using CPA money for the uh, curtains at the grammar school? So um, that was the impression of the CPA committee that the category for a recreational facility um, is meant to be outdoor recreational facilities rather than indoor. indoor. So if there it was if it was an outdoor portable theater with a then the curtain would have been compensable. Right. But because it's inside a building, it's not. And there is some language in the statute that does mention a preference for outdoor uh, recreational facilities. Oh. And specifically, uh, it, like said, you know, they, they don't want it to be used to build a gymnasium. Mm. Um, oh. But, uh, so, so to me there was a statutory hook for that committee to base their no vote on. Okay. Right. Um, unlike the track, yeah, <laughs> the track was strictly an arbit. In my opinion, was strictly an arbitrary and um, not okay decision. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, and there's a whole. I could t so that. <laughs> Right. And, and you know, now that you brought that up, we did. We th the select board did discuss last week the possibility of introducing a bylaw that would um, s circumspect the, uh, the, 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 the authority of the CPC committee so that they would ha uh, to ob make them obligate the, or, or have a statutory reason for their decision no. Yeah. But um, uh, b basically that it, uh, um, having spoken about that with town council, et cetera, the, the, 
th that approach has not been tried by anybody. <laughs> no. So, so the, the, our attorney was, uh, didn't know how that, but they are subject to the administrative, the State Administrative Procedure Act, which forbids them from making arbitrary and or capricious decisions. Mm. But the, the remedy for the select board, if one of its boards is making arbitrary decisions, unfortunately, is to sue in court. Mm. Right. And that whole left hand suing your right hand thing right. just sounds really weird. Yeah. Um, and so right. I, I always used to say to everybody, you know, the, if you're experiencing a problem with your local democracy, the solution is always more democracy. Yeah. And um, in this case, I, I should just take my own advice. And next time, next year, when the, the track applies again, um, the, the, to have people there, beso well, besides the principal and the superintendent, because they didn't, being there didn't have much effect, but, uh, but residents who care about it. Um, the, you know, and, and I go down there and run every time. I've been there three times. Every time there's been Conway residents running. Yeah. and Because there's no other tracks with cushion surface, nuts, whatever. And the fact that they just, and the, that the individuals on that committee felt that um, uh, the school should never be a recipient of CPA money because the school can always just get a warrant put on, the, <coughs> can always get to have a spending article put on the warrant and just let them have it, let them deal with it that way. Okay. And you try to explain that in the town meeting form of government, any resident, any resident right. can have any spending item. Ten signatures, it's a warrant, it's an article on the right. warrant. Like, that doesn't, that's not a real reason. That's, that's just right. an anti-school bias. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. So, so, so the current curtain, though, is that adequate legally? There is no current curtain. The fire marshal sees the current curtain right. and right. Uh, because it is out of the <laughs> 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 Because right. they couldn't find any documentation to prove that it was fireproof. Yeah, and, well, no, and, yeah. and that they're only good for a certain number of years yeah. that fireproofing is and Fire um, even those of us that were, had a vague recollection of when it was purchased it was many it was, it was like it was sort of original to that right. building and, um, right. is there no curtain there's no curtain no curtain there's no curtain oh my goodness the show must go on mm -hmm. yes yes so right. um I, I, I have thank you thank you phil i, I have another qu roy you have any comments questions on that because i have another thing would be the uh, article 10 you know, for the chipper, the chipper box and truck. I mean, we're allocating funds for this, 139000 approximately. But we might get a, there's still a possibility of a grant, correct? No? I thought there was a possibility of a grant for... Uh, None that I'm aware um, Okay. We had talked about they had thought possibly with DCR, with right. this yes. wood bank thing. The wood but, bank, but right. I don't think did, was, he, did he that, send all those lists of grants to you? Yes, that wasn't for a chipper, though. That, that would that be for a wood splitter. Wood splitter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a, yeah. And, a and also maybe a right. grapple. And, yeah. And the grapple. Right. And the grapple Ron expressed a serious interest in. Okay. Um, all right. Um, all right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, all right. you know, I, 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 I you know, um, I was not, it's, uh, Chris is on the, is the chair of the capital committee yep. and um mm, not anymore. anymore what <laughs> i gave it to phyllis well okay phyllis, phyllis is the chair of the capital committee and, and you know well sorry since she is would it make sense for us to have her in next week too i mean that's up to um if you I, want to I, make it a three-way joint meeting so if she's I available think, yeah. i think i prefer that actually be good because um, yeah i mean I, article two really i have and such as reviewing the details of the Conway Grammar School budget, for example, I, I, nothing, I have no other suggestions, really. Yeah. The fact that we're keeping it to the percentage we are given the inflation rate is already austere enough. Bless you. So, Bless you. Uh, with regard to Article 12, which is for another pickup truck, apparently, yes. is that's, that's a second separate pickup truck for the highway department that we're talking about? It is. Okay. It's Article 10 is a boom truck. A boom truck. Not a pickup Not truck. Not a pickup truck. Right. So that's a, okay. So yeah, it's See, you should have a hard copy. I had to change that. Oh, okay. So yeah, the hard I'm, copy I'm, I'm, I'm working on my computer. Okay. Notes, so, so. Okay, I didn't use my computer. All right. So, <coughs> the, I mean, so, so for, 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 for both of these things, so the, uh, I'll start with the, the pickup truck. I think the lesson from the fire department's recent pickup truck um, 
and how we knew that when it was going to be listed as a new pickup truck, we knew that there was opposition to that sure, brewing. And, um, and, and I remember, I remember um, saying that it should, I remember saying that it should be a used truck. I remember the, the board like quickly supporting that and, and we made the fire chief get a used truck. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah. and, and, at, and at the time, at, at the time, at the time he wasn't like completely thrilled with the idea. But the reality is that he got a, we got a truck for half the price that was one year old, 10,000 miles on it, and had like, it looks brand new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good and, shape. And so there. that, like, and town meeting therefore su it supported that. They, yep. they, and the, the same, to me, that like that's true of this pickup truck, that we have no business getting a, 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 just a pickup truck brand new. Like that, we have no business doing that. Because. And that, and that the town will not like, the, the town will not vote for that, and it will be ugly. Yeah, I um, don't disagree, but there are some different scenarios as far as the fire truck and this truck. Um, one, the fire, <coughs> the fire truck pickup truck, we knew would only get at most like a thousand miles a year on it. It's rarely used. Um, we also knew that the current vehicle that Bob had was breaking down and had a litany of repairs that needed to be done with more potential repairs coming. So he needed the vehicle quickly. To get a new vehicle would have taken a lot longer. Um, so that was part of it. And with the highway facility vehicle, because they're all constantly working, they don't really have the time to repair, do repairs on the vehicle. I also agree that the town's probably gonna knock it down if it's not used, if it's not half that price, but Ron did have some good reasonings behind wanting a new vehicle. Um, you know, a one-year-old vehicle is still under warranty. It's still 10,000, it, it only has 10,000 miles on it. I, to me, those answers, um, I would just say also that in this day and age, because the markets are still kind of strange, maybe saying new and or used, because it gives you, you know, I mean, obviously, you, but if you can't find a used, then you're kind of out of luck. Yeah, yeah I think the bigger issue is that number. The dollar, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Once you budget 80000 then, you know, you're going to yeah. assume but that he's going to spend 80000 on a Well, truck. the other thing I would if like to say it. about that, just so people are aware, especially people at home watching, is the monies for this would have to be authorized from town meeting to come from the savings that have been realized in building the highway facility and i'll just say ron put in hundreds and hundreds of hours of his own time on yeah. that oh yeah and so, um, to give him equipment that works is you know a one-year-old vehicle with ten thousand miles on it works it's just it's half the price it's you can't we cannot do I don't think it's I, I, for this. I, 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 agree I want him to be able to get stuff yeah. that works and that would that, that meets his needs. But the idea that we would buy a new pickup truck is going to be met with, yeah. you know, there, you'll get like 10 votes in favor, you'll get 20 personal insults, and you'll get 30 hurtful comments. <laughs> do, like, do we need uh, <laughs> two-thirds vote to bring this over or not? Actually, you know, I misspoke because that one is from capital stabilization. I was looking at Article 10. And they'll require so two-thirds vote to approve then. Yeah. Sorry? Yes, it says two thirds. Yeah. yeah, it's not going to happen. I mean, so but again, like, maybe it makes sense to have capital here next week. Yeah, I think it does. I think we should we'll have, have this discussion with them. Um, you know, yeah, but in the meet, it's also just makes sense to to um, you know to, to have let them meet if they need to and and take a vote on stuff too. Like, there's no. The time's ticking. You got to April 24th, so you got two weeks before the warrant has to be approved in general. If she comes in next week to have a discussion, um, that really compresses things, and you only have one week to like vote on it and get it all copacetic. And so, I think it'll be a pretty quick discussion. Yeah. Um, I mean, but like, yeah. like, you know, and, and the, just join the, the, the flip yeah. side. Yeah. Of, like, <laughs> the flip side of that is that right now, her. right. The flip side of that is that right now we are looking at a four point two seven percent increase to our assessment from our yeah. local from this budget. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And the only way to reduce that is to reduce the amount of free cash that we're spending. Yes. The only way there's only a few things that we can really do about that. Yep. But one of them, 
would be to reduce the amount that we contribute to capital stabilization. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the way that you reduce the amount that you spend uh, of contributing to capital stabilization yeah. is to not spend as much capital this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, and so for that reason, if we are going to do a used, like that, which is like what I would support as opposed to oppose, um, like then, uh, then it really makes way more sense to just do it and not put in 80,000 new or used because, um, because that would be the basis for reducing our contribution to capital stabilization. In so, my opinion. Are so, yeah, you saying like take Article 12 off entirely? No, I think we should just, or just cut it down. I, I think we should cut it down in yeah. half and have the same amount that we gave the fire department 40,000. It was fifty. It was fifty. It was fifty because well, it, it was ten extra thousand to that. the uplifting. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So he doesn't need to uplift it. Yeah. So it, you know, then, then, then. Upfit. Yes. Upfit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think I, I put that in wrong. Yeah. And, and then, I like and then we, and then we could reduce, and then we could reduce our contribution to capital stabilization yes. by, by by that amount, yeah. which would yeah. maybe bring us below forty. No, it, but, but, but yeah, that might bring us. Below four. Below 4%. Well, <laughs> what 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 the reality is what four point two seven percent means yes. in in our tax increase Fuck. is one point uh, is one dollar twenty $1. something yeah. um, per thousand. Yeah. Okay. And so that's that's a lot. You and um, that would, if I'm not mistaken, make us the most heavily taxed town in the county. Well, but I think Charlemagne has it on. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, if you look at the transfer station forum, there are some of there that are already at Yeah, Charlemagne's up to yeah. about but 23 I, but bucks. I'm sorry, I just want to make sure I'm understanding because this neither of these is coming from free cash. So it's not going to help your general fund bottom line. It comes line. from capital stabilization. Right. Correct. And How is capital stabilization funded? From free cash. Thank yeah. you. But that's from last year's. Understood. But right, yeah. but, yeah. right. But I don't even have an article in here, and I can right. put one in if you like. To, to add to the capital stabilization. Oh, okay, yeah, I was going to say I didn't see. Yeah, that. I think we should. Okay, the the thing is, That's we did have a discussion sense. earlier about holding on to free cash. I know. This year, in right. case you needed it immediately. For yeah, something. because at this point, our free cash would be down to like thirty-seven thousand dollars. No, no, that right? no, that was last year. This year, it's I think I've spent down to about. You got one hundred thirty-seven thousand now, or something like that. Whereabouts, right? It. It was 380, and I'll have to call it up on my spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. But I think we've used in the articles down to about 100 and something. So there'd be about 100, 150 thousand left, right. not accounted for. Yeah. So we needed to have that discussion. If you want to hang on to that as free cash, you know, in our pocket that could be spent at a special town meeting or something, or yeah. if you want to right now say, let's put it into capital stabilization. So I had nothing going into capital yeah. stabilization this year. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're already begging for a special town meeting. I'd like to keep as much money in free cash from that. I just don't know the outlook. The outlook, you know, as Lee shared in the <coughs> email here today about the evaluations and all that, it's just, you know, it's tough sledding for the next couple of years. That, that was my concern is that, you know, I mean, we'd have to go to town meeting anyway to expend yes. it, but. I should mention Roy's also on the committee. Yeah, Roy, have you, what 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 Hey, listen, I missed the last meeting, so I'm uh, the last uh, capital <laughs> uh, a little bit uh, trying to catch up here. I look for minutes, and it's super. Regardless, I'd like to know who, who found a uh, one year old pickup truck with 10,000 miles on it for half the price. Where did that come from? That came from a dealership in Greenfield. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't sound that's the right. truck that Bob found. That, that, that is very, yeah, that's what that, Bob said. It's yeah. a and, very nice truck. And that is, you know, that when when a car when a new car leaves the lot, it, de it decreases in value by thirty to forty percent. Right. Like, that, right there. No, no, not thirty to forty percent. But it, it, we're talking about a truck. Yeah. Those, uh, yeah. No, there's something doesn't sound right. No, that's all. I don't want to pursue. No, it. Yeah. no. no it didn't we, we got the receipt, truck. Troy. We got the receipts. Yeah, we, that's what it is. We got, you know, okay. there, there are there are more used trucks available right now than you think. Yeah. Um, and and in fact, ordering a new one, mm -hmm. there's because it comes from the state approved what blah blah blah. The only, there's only a couple of dealers that are part of that program, right, right. and the one, the, the 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 one that actually has more than a handful, 
has something like a one-year waiting list right now from the time you order and pay for it to you take delivery because they're so, yeah. like that was a whole, yeah. which is, which brings me to the, um, the chipper. But, but the, if that's the case, then the price of the used ought to be higher than half price. If people can't get the We don't order. want you going to the dealership for the town and negotiating that. Uh, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> because I, my sense is, if you can get a damn one-year-old truck with ten thousand miles on it for half price, you should grab it. Exactly. Oh, I know we, exactly. Did. We, we did. did. We did. We did. We did. Oh, okay. Okay. I've never done that. So I'll, I'll take uh, responsibility for Article Twelve. I, I, I was a little bit uh, um, not necessary. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's just I kept pushing him so bad on not doing the greater yeah. that I was like. So, you know, what, and I want, you know, for, for, for you, Chris, to actually, to, to, in the same year, your first year, to tackle the transfer station stuff, yeah. and then right. the cap, like, you, those are like the two toughest subjects in this town, like, yeah. and, and uh, you know, I'm just great, so grateful and so impressed that, like, you're, you decided to, like, dig into this Can stuff. Can you tell my fiance that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can't, you I can't, know what like, the look. reward is. Yeah. Yeah. But, but like, oh, no. like, oh, wow. like, the, 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 she might cut back in the hours. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so but we like, decided 40,000 is what we're putting the warrant in for. I think uh, the capital. Well, it has to come from capital. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Phyllis, okay, Phyllis yeah. has to. Yeah. We have to get uh, okay. all five of us together. Yeah, all right. But I think a joint meeting next week, I'd like to have a three-way meeting. Capital, mm -hmm. select board, of course, and, and finance committees. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but the, so the, if, if we can have a chipper discussion. Yes. Because this was before the town meeting in December. Yep. Um, as I recall, the vote was something like 10 to 70. Um, or 15, yeah. like it was. It was, it was one. Out of it, it was like it was, one to five. It was like yeah. five yeah. to one against. Right. Yes. And it wasn't just the usual. No, no. The, the handful of people that vote no. Nope. It, it was the great middle mass of townsfolk who um, just, you know, the, when the, when there were professional people that stood up and and say, I do this for a living. I would never buy one of these new. That used is. Ten to fifteen thousand dollars for the same item, mm -hmm. and um, a, that that it, there's no and snow. The people that do this at Snows, the, the 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 person that does this in their own business that they started, that none of them would ever use uh, buy a new one. And especially, like the argument that you need one right away, well then why a new one is a, is a year and a half to take delivery. Yes, minimum. Um, the 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 argument that you need a new one just you know, w w the first question is going to be at town meeting is going to be tell us everything you've done to investigate the possibility of getting a used one, yeah. and the answer will be nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, and at which point you're going to wish that the chairs were bolted down, and um, <laughs> and <laughs> like, so there's I, no curtains. So my you can't my hide understanding them, right? is, is, is capital <laughs> improvements is, is going to defend this request. Is that correct? The chipper, yes. And as right. far as as far <laughs> no. as as we've been told, there are no used ones for purchase. There's absolutely none out there. Mm -hmm. And so, at, so at, the boom truck, just to give you, the boom truck is used. So mm -hmm. the used items that are available, you obviously are going forward with the side from the pickup truck. Which so we need to my use. recommendation is to split these three items up so that the boom truck is a separate item, so that. Uh, you have a chance of getting something passed. Um, that, like the 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 the, um, the 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 chipper as currently constituted, like it, uh, yeah. Does a boom truck have any value without the chipper? Um, I don't even know what a boom truck is. It's, it's, a, boom. it's a boom lift. It's a boom, a boom it's lift. lift. It's with the, with the articulating arm on the end of it with the bucket at the top. That's a boom I, truck. Oh, that oh, with, you I'm even surprised truck. Yeah. This, to see this on the warrant because didn't we settle this that we had a sweet rental deal on it and we were going to keep renting it? Well, it's not a very sweet rental deal. I mean, yeah, the rental deal is not great. Yeah, it's <laughs> not a sweet deal. rental deal and you can't rely on it. Oh. You know, renting this stuff. I it's mean, it's great it's for it when you compare it to other rental rentals, but it's still costing a lot of money. Yeah. What was it like two grand a month? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. But 
No, no, it was more than more that. Than four two grand, grand a week. Two grand, two grand, grand, grand a week. Yeah. Did, did you or members of the committee try to get used prices and look to do a search? Ron did. Ron. So, mm -hmm. the problem is you're gonna. The, the, there's so many people in that room that are so knowledgeable about these things, yeah. and they will be pulling up on their phone as this debate is going on, showing yeah. showing Craigslist, eBay, and <laughs> Marketplace, and. Uh, Facebook yeah. and everywhere else then where there's, do the where there's dozens yeah. where there's dozens volunteer. of these things for sale which is what they did last time right. and and I've since been shown people's cell phones with with these I, I did a quick for sale. search myself I could not find an industrial like the size that mm -hmm. he's asking for I couldn't find it anywhere um, so it might, if, if that's the case, I would also check with those, those people that we know that were at town meeting saying, yeah. I do this, I get them used, and ask where they get them, and, I, and I ask for help. I to know why a farmer would have <laughs> a, a chipper that, the, this chipper would take up this whole round. It's like half this round. <laughs> like it's that big of a chipper. Wow. It's not one of those ones that people have at their homes and they're putting No, no, it's a, it's a chipper that right. needs an inch tra it has a, it's a trailer attachment to right. the dump truck. Is, is, the, one, is the, the one truck. that he wrench now and he's towing around with the big rig, is that, it's bigger than that? It is bigger than that one, but not by much. And one of the things, I won't read, weren't you guys talking about putting pictures in the presentation yes. so people can see yeah. Yeah, what yes. it is we're talking about? Yeah, it won't just idea. be a... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, um, and there's just this weird, you know, tension between people who don't like how the road work is done and they don't like how the trees are cut, and yet we don't want to like, you know, invest in more money in our highway department because I, I I think people don't appreciate like how small that staff is and how much work those people actually do. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know if there's any way to. You know, I, PowerPoint that <laughs> I think I think the com the compromise has historically been when you can really demonstrate that you're going way above be and beyond um, to to save save what you can and that th that is always manifested in like used equipment yeah and um, and the the object is to do the put in the shoe leather and um, and and find it and um, you know it, so I you know I. Could we? Uh, I don't. I don't think that this is. A, I don't think that this is an achievable thing. Well, I think okay. Yeah. So <laughs> could could we? Could we? This is one of those where you can put in the full amount for a new one, but but instruct him to make every effort to spend mm -hmm. half as much on a used one or whatever. But the problem is, if you only warrant approve half of it, and there's nothing available. Right. You you're SOL on that. Yeah. But um. But and and so then you're back to square one. You still have the need, but you have no solution other than to continue renting. And if it's two grand a two grand a week, in a year you spent your your more than a hundred thousand uh, dollars. I thought it was two grand a month. That's so. And that that is a whole another thing. In our discussions with this, we have heard multiple price points as to what the actual <laughs> rental is. Yeah, we and it's a week, week, not a month. What's that? It's, a week. it's two grand a week, not a month. And there are different pieces of equipment that have been that are rented, so that would maybe where some of the different numbers. Okay. And 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 if if it really is two thousand a week, which I have a hard time well, believing. But if it really is, then the question is, why is it always sitting unused in the yard, day after day? Um, that that you know. Oh, well, that's a great question. Can, can, yes. can, can we not organize things better so that um, it's, yeah. it you know it's used? Uh, that that, yeah. that I, I just don't see this being this shipper being used like uh, 52 weeks of the year. I can see it being no. used maybe eight weeks of the year. Could be rented out to other towns. Well, the problem is that you never know when a storm's going to hit, right. like the one we just had. That's right. And he's got work backed up, I think, for the next four months because yeah. of that one storm. Yeah. So you just don't, you just never know. And, and that's the thing. And then if, and if I'm... And when there's a storm, everybody else wants the same piece of equipment. It, well, exactly. Yeah. And that's, that's the problem. So the sweet deal that we were talking about, too, with one of the pieces of equipment, I'm going to forget which one it is, was yeah you can rent it for this amount unless I need it right yeah. and then you might yeah. lose it at the very time you need it yeah. so if there's a big storm well, we'll be in a backlog anyway because there's to be so much yeah. work and limited crew I, so, I mean yeah. I don't think there's any question that given the change of uh, requirement uh, for how to dispose of uh, trees that were uh, formerly left along the roadside we do need a chipper in my mind um, 
but I think that looking for, uh, you know, I, I haven't looked for one, but uh, it seems of all the used pieces of equipment that's out there, that's one that perhaps you can buy that isn't going to be a piece of junk because it's not, um, you know, it's not, it's a trailer, it's pulled. It's, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's kind of basic the way they work. So, um, but again, what do I know? I don't know what the part situation is like with these things. I, I, yeah, I'd have to defer to Ron for his, uh, you know, his take on it. Yeah. And this, so. I think like over the years, there's so many times when I've seen like Ron say no to the lower cost options and then end up with nothing. And that's the way, that's, you know, it, it, these things, half a loaf mm -hmm. is better than yeah, none. I, and, I think we all um, agree that there's a challenge here. Yeah. And, and like, there's a whole lot of reasons to it that we could talk about all day long about the town's relationship with the highway department, um, with highway spending in general, et cetera, uh, with the highway department head. Um, but the, the, the if, if this is to be passed, it has to be. <laughs> A lot of less, um, you know. And used used is for, when I when people showed me their phone and and I, I think the one that I remember seeing was a 16 inch instead of 18 inch, um, and it was twelve thousand dollars for gently used, like almost new. It said, and like I don't whatever. I can't imagine there's any gently used. Here. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, but, there's but, a big difference between twelve and sixteen. You know, that's sixteen and eight. There's a big difference between sixteen and eighteen. I thought you said 12. 12. No. No, 16. No, 12 was the price. 16, oh, 16, 16 was the size. Well. And, and, and so that's the thing, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, the, the, not to mention just the fact that all those people that voted no just a few months ago are going to be like, doesn't, Why is it here? Doesn't, yeah, yeah. doesn't my voice count for anything? Well, like, have you learned yeah. nothing? Like, well, like, at some point, like, you know. Yeah, you can keep voting stuff down, and then you can complain when yeah. you know like, the rows aren't cleared. Or I mean, there's I, I'm I'm the like cheapest person in the world. My husband will tell you that. But there's also you know a point at which you have to invest in you know your yeah. infrastructure basically if you mm -hmm. still want to have yeah. your infrastructure <laughs> operating. And um, you know it's a delicate balance. But My impression from town meeting, especially special town meetings, is people showed up specifically to vote things down in the highway department. Is that we'd have to have a uh, <laughs> we'd have to have a very good presentation. Uh, mm -hmm. It might be a little too soon to bring this up in the June town meeting. I mean, I, I I have no doubt in my mind that the presentation will be exquisite and will be like awesome, and that the that the person scheduled to present is going to do an amazing job. However. <laughs> It's not going to matter. Um, it's just not. Like if if this is what the proposal is, if 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 you can stand up and say we heard you at the last meeting, this is you know we, the, it's the same proposal but a lot less money, and because we're got we're we 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 listen to you and we're going to do this differently, um, the way you asked, it, it'll get passed. If you if if you just try to get do the same thing, like he, it's it's um it's. You know, I, I like you have, we have a brand new committee. All like, all the, all people that are like enthusiastic, mm -hmm. shiny, bright eyed, and like ready to go. And it, and if if we if we if if we say go embark upon this mission that is a hundred percent kamikaze mission, um, <laughs> like uh, yeesh, because um, you know I, I've I've seen I, I've I've seen two two um, capital committees disband mm -hmm. yeah. under just uh, after the accumulation of a few years frustration of never being able to get things voted the way that, and they, they you know and and they all they it, it, it it's you know they, they want to help they want to do the right thing they want the department head to get so it but it just doesn't work just still have hope make a really good presentation and yeah. just keep you know i mean what else can you do and i just want to remind you that we have a hard stop in like six minutes because we have all right i don't have any, all the other issues you know the main ones the curtain and the chipper and the box and the boom truck what's the compact loader that's for transfer station that's, that's transfer station cap, but yeah. that's capital too so the comp that's um capital that's not a transfer station that's highway, yeah. highway what's that for 
Oh, oh, the compact letter. Yeah. Article 15. Yeah, like oh, yes. oh, sorry, I'm Article sorry. 11. <laughs> yes, that is, that is uh, uh, the uh, replacement of his current compact letter. That's for the hiring one. What is it, and what's wrong with the current one? I have it in my notes. <laughs> yeah. These are big numbers. Yes. And um, yeah. that, that have that will significantly diminish the capital stabilization fund balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, these um, are all things that the finance committee is going to take a recommendation on before. Oh, you mean the capital committee? How about joining me with the capital? We have a presentation from the capital committee. Right? <laughs> I don't want to make a. I don't want to make a decision. No. Yeah. Obviously, not now. Until the capital committee, at some point, committee like, makes a presentation. Yeah. I guess I have a, a general comment about the Warren articles, and it feels to me like a lot of them need a lot of clarification, justification, like explanation as to what this is, why are we doing this. That comes out when we do. Right. Yeah. Right. So this is legal yeah. language. This is yeah. not. Yeah, I, I completely get it. But yeah. I'm saying. It's the rationale. There needs to be a lot more detail. Yeah, no, that's why we do the, the warrant talent light. warrant light that's like, yeah. mm -hmm. so that there's far fewer yeah. questions because everything is spelled out already. Which has been an enormously valuable contribution. Yeah. 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 It was so. a brilliant idea, Erica. Um, and <laughs> Because uh, I totally agree. All of this needs like better explanation. But yeah, for the like the legal yeah. language of the warrant. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. once this is finalized, then Veronique and I work on like a, okay. a piece that right. like explains exactly the pros and cons, like what a yes vote means, what a no vote means. But that's one of the reasons I want to review this. Is so if you have questions about it, you can ask. Right. Me. That's what I, I came for? with questions on a lot of these. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so we're not going to yeah. get those covered tonight. Right, so. understood. But my suggestion is for uh, if you have a free town meeting or a town meeting, if the capital committee could make the presentation and not the highway department. Well, pre town meeting is not a town function. It's put together by private citizens, okay. so we have no influence over and, how they decide to do it. And the topics covered are done by vote. Everybody puts a check mark next to their the oh, article they want to discuss, and, to okay. and they and, and you never get more than two or three articles discussed. Mm -hmm. So um, at town meeting, at we town are meeting. doing the presentation. So good, the capital committee. Yes, the committee. Yes. Yes. Right, right, but yeah. like for the, the, the like the town, what do we call it? Town warrant light. I mean, like the like the explanation of yeah. like. I mean, last year it was like a chart of like what went up, what went down, like, yeah. and why. Um, all of that explanatory mm -hmm. detail that you guys have from you know capital improvements and finance committee. We'll yeah. add that to that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, even as simple as Article Three, which seems to be like a procedural vote. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, <laughs> but the question comes. Which salaries are we talking about? Right, like Which what positions is that exactly? in town yeah. are affected by this vote? Yeah. And then, you know, we have to do this because we're all, the, the state requires us to have this vote every year. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's what we yeah. put out. Oh, good. Yeah. In the, it's, I mean, it's not the official document, but it's yeah, in the understood. supplementary that we the, take. The, and the, other, the other thing that I did want to share, too, is that there's every expectation that the governor's supplemental, um, when the governor uh, is, is going to include more, more money for the towns across the board for everything from chapter 70 to chapter 90 to yeah. general general everything so um th there there is the expectation that next year will be a more favorable budget year than this year <laughs> and, no really last well, that's fine. They, they are cyclical and yeah. last year was a good budget year for us yeah and last year would have been the time would have been the year to do some oh, of these okay. capital stuff and 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 to me the, the whole idea of like a capital heavy budget on this year when um, it, it is not the timing's not so good yeah and, and the it's going to make people way more likely to vote no um, mm -hmm. like yeah. this is this is a really tough year for the new committee to do to do the presentation and, and have it you know what it, it's gonna it's not gonna be pretty yeah, it's not understood. yeah you know I guess in general capital oh, expense right, should come from new growth and new growth this year is just you know not 1.9. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's okay. Thank you. you guys are going. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah. We have okay, so. I make a motion to adjourn the finance committee. Second. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. Thanks, Roy. Thank you, Roy. Okay. Thank you all. So the um the, the we do the, the, in the mail there was uh, a letter from the Pan Am Railways. They're gonna st spray. Uh, all kinds of glycophosphate and really bad herbicides all over the railroad, the, on either side of the railroad tracks that pass through Conway within the next month. So there's that. Um, and we can't do anything about it by law. Um, uh, the other thing, um, 
the next meeting is a, this, well, first of all, tomorrow is at the Historical Society, Thad Danielson Historic Boat Building. Um, the 13th mm -hmm. is, trans the Thursday is Transfer Station Public Forum at 5.30? 5.30. 5.30 yeah. here in this room. And the 18th is our next meeting, which will be a joint meeting of the Finance Committee, the Select Board, and the Capital Committee. So we are about to adjourn to an executive session. We will not be coming into the public, uh, back onto a public meeting. Um, the purpose of the executive session is to conduct strategy session in preparation for negotiations um, with non-union personnel and uh, and contract negotiations with non-union personnel. And that non-union personnel in question is our prospective new police chief, Don. Um, so that's that's why we're going into executive session to hopefully get this done today. Um, but at any rate, we will not be returning to open session. This will be, we will not be taking any votes after the executive session. And for that reason, this meeting is uh, looking for a motion to adjourn this meeting and um, with, uh, when, and when we come back into open meeting, it would be to just to go home. So. I move to adjourn and do the executive session for the reasons that you already stated. And then has to be a roll call. And then so er uh, okay. Erica, oh, well, a second, I'll second that. Um, and it has to be a roll call. Erica? Yes. Chris? Yes. And I vote yes. So we stand adjourned. Thank you, everybody.